Today, I'm going to show you some fire alarms on my ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm demonstration board. Let's get started. The alarms today are all wheel lock, and the ones that I have installed are pretty common alarms. So next time you go into a building, you might recognize some of these. This right here is a wheel lock AS horn strobe. Going over, we have a wheel lock MIZ mini horn. This mini horn is wired up to the emergency push station, and we will demonstrate that today. Going over, we have a quarter light, however, we're not going to be testing that today, and that's not a wheel lock device, that's a tech tone device. And the other fire alarm is a wheel lock MT. For a pull station today, we have an Edward Siga, and we will be pulling this and testing it today. I've seen Edward Sigas with wheel lock devices occasionally, so the system is sort of realistic. The final device we'll be testing today is the System Sensor i3 Photoelectric Smoke Detector. The System Sensor i3 Smoke Detector has a testing feature where you can test the entire smoke detector just by poking something on that little metal piece right there. So that's what we're going to be doing today to test it. Here we go. That's pretty loud, isn't it? Fun fact, the Wheelock AS only has one tone, which is the tone you heard, and the Wheelock MT has, I think, eight different tones. Now we will realarm the system with the Edward Siga pull station. Lift, then pull handle for fire. Just what it says. Here we go. We're gonna lift, and then pull the handle for fire. With some of these pull stations, you can easily reset it using a key on the side. However, with this model pull station, there is no key on the side. So in this case, we have to reset it using a screwdriver on the top. It's easiest if I take the smoke detector head off for this part so that I can put the screwdriver in the pull station. So just like I said, we're going to put our screwdriver in the top and open the pull station. And then we're going to flip the switch, reset the handle, and then close the pull station. All right, now we will go ahead and reset the entire system by simply pressing the reset button. Looks like we have a trouble coming up. Low battery. The batteries on this system are getting to be a little bit outdated, but uh, it gets me through just the test as you can see. All right, let's test this emergency push station. Here we go in three. Two, one. That sounds just like a smoke alarm set on continuous. Okay, everyone, that's going to be the end of this test. Thank you for watching and have a great day.